Good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday. We got down, soaking up this awesome mist down at the wouldn't be a dock. Look at that sky. Look at that sky. All right, all right. So we are doing our uh, Tuesday edition of We Ride at Dawn. And our special guest, <laughs> Father Eugene's back. I'm here. Good morning, Brian. Back. Good morning, viewers. Good morning, everyone out there. Very special day. Very solemn environment and a cool morning outside. Yeah. And the gnats are out too, so we're getting a little attacked by the bugs here. I think just blew my ear. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good morning, Carl. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at the reflections. It's like a painting. Like a painting. Who else is jumping on here? All right, all right. So. Tuesday edition. We got some, uh, I thought we were going to be riding in the rain, but it's actually pretty nice out. Yep. Uh, aside from the little gnats that are attacking us here that you can't see. But, um, <laughs> so we decided to switch it up, come down here to Woodmere. Haven't been down here since last week. It's a beautiful spot, Woodmere Dock. Um, plane, in a plane path, you can see the planes flying by. So, all right, so Tuesday's message. What are we going to talk about today? What we're gonna talk about, I was listening to, uh, I talk about a lot, my buddy Mike Claudio, uh, someone who's kind of been uh, an influencer in my life, and he's been going through 65 lives. So he uh, was talking last night about uh, following your gut, and uh, everything happens for a reason. So in life, we know the difference between right and wrong. So like getting attacked by folks here, uh, by following our gut. We know if something feels right or if something feels wrong, and there's a reason that we have that feeling. That's God telling us what's right or wrong. Um, you know, sometimes you may want to eat that extra cookie, and you know it's not the right thing to do, but you eat it anyway, and you feel bad about it. Um, stuff like that in life. Um, you know you should get out of bed and come right at dawn, and you don't. And in your gut, you feel bad about it and say, I should have got up and went riding. Um, your gut tells you what to do. A lot of times we overrule our gut. Um, if you think about it in life, you know, all the stuff that goes on in life, you know, some stuff makes you feel good, some stuff makes you feel bad. Um, make good choices, as my buddy Mark says. When you're making good choices, your gut feels right. And it feels like you're doing the right thing. And you're at peace. Um, <clears throat> when your gut tells you this isn't the right thing and you go against it, you're not at peace. So just something to think about. And everything in your life from little things to uh you know stealing that ho that towel from the hotel as a lot of people do um you know does that make you feel good no because you're like i shouldn't have did that um you know we've all done little things like that um in your life and your gut tells you this isn't the right thing to do you do it anyway and then you say wow that didn't feel good that wasn't the right thing so faith and focus focus on what your gut is telling you have faith um it's there for a reason. That feeling is there for a reason. So you need to follow it. So, Father Eugene, what do you have to add to that? Yeah, I think, uh, like you said, we could have some moments of regrets, but it uh, doesn't mean that that's the end of life. We made some mistakes in the past, and then, but uh, we are also supposed to uh, make a new beginning every day correct our mistakes and then move on with life but most importantly the grace of God is also given to us and whenever we have a recourse to God again he takes care of all those mistakes and then gives us a, a new beginning and so uh, I believe um, mistakes are at times uh, some hurdles we have to pass in life but uh, they should form also 
stepping stones, not stumbling blocks. Mm. So uh, we learn from mistakes and then we correct them and then make another great beginning. And so do not allow your mistakes or your past uh, lives to uh, prevent you from moving on. What's important is to realize what happened and then move on. Learn from it, pick up and yeah. keep going. Yeah. yeah. I like it, I like it. All right, so as we uh, break into our prayers here, sure. let's break into our prayers here. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta thank God for this beauty behind us. Look at that. That's just, <laughs> yeah. God is good, right? Sure. That's it. <laughs> God is good God all is the good. time. All the time. And all the time, <laughs> God is good. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning, very, very beautiful cool weather here. The bugs are attacking, yeah, but it's all right. But it's okay. It's, it's part right. of their job. <laughs> <laughs> they are doing their job, doing living their, their job. lives. <laughs> living their lives. <laughs> They're doing what they do. We do what we do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we commit our day to the Lord and then ask him to bless the day he has given us. The day is given. It is not our rights. It is uh, by the special grace of God that we are alive and uh, we are also here today. So we give him. He also continues to remember us. So we pray for everyone today, everyone going through some difficult moments, everyone having some regrets in life, everyone struggling over a day out there. We all are struggling every day. We pray that God will strengthen us and then that we may make a great comeback and a great beginning. And things will work out again. So we make our prayers, begin our prayers in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Because this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God our Father, we thank you for the gifts of life, for the gifts of yet another new day, this Tuesday morning. We thank you for everyone out there. We thank you for our friendship and then our common heritage, especially belonging to you and belonging to the special family of God, the church. We ask you to bless our day bless every of our activity today bless everyone there that needs our prayers that needs your support and also we pray for the sick we pray for our doctors and nurses or caregivers or pharmacists we pray for all business owners we pray for all teachers students and we pray for our parents grandparents we continually pray for our government Especially that God will continually use all those in government to better our work. So we pray and I continue to pray for my people over there in Nigeria, the Southeasterners, and all those who are struggling at this time to survive under some military invasion and injustice is going on. That God will come to our help and come to the help of all those marginalized so father we ask you to bless our day bless every opportunity that we have today that we may make use of those opportunities for your greater glory for our good and the good of the world you've given us you will live and reign forever and the ever amen. amen may the blessings of almighty god father son and the holy spirit come upon you i remain with you both now and forever amen Thank Amen. you, Brian. Oh, now I can just lock the bugs. Yeah, <laughs> the bugs are attacking. Thanks so, so much. I just realized. Brian. Check yeah. out that hairdo today. Huh? That's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Father, for your friendship yeah. and for coming out every morning. Sure. This is uh, as always. Look forward to my Tuesdays and Wednesdays with Father Eugene. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Today uh, we're going to give a little shout out. I broke out the uh, Crossroads shirt. Uh, Crossroads Farm, Malvern. Uh, 
because it's dear to my heart. Put a lot of time and effort into the farm over the years to try and make it into what it is with a lot of uh, special friends that I've grown through the years, especially uh, Carl over there. Uh, we work together a lot at the farm and Benny's done a lot at the farm. Uh, get back to the community so we can all have this community center, community farm for future generations to come. Uh, farmer's Market every Saturday morning. Make sure you go check it out, it's great. And the farm store is open on the weekends. Uh, check out the website, crossroads-farm.org and uh, go support your local farm. There's events coming up, there's an event calendar. Um, again, jump on the website, uh, Crossroads Farm at Grossman's on Facebook, Instagram, X Roads Farm with an X, uh, Allied New York, and uh, support local, support our farm. Um, a lot of people work really hard to keep that farm going and uh, make sure you support it. Don't neglect the uh, beautiful things in your life. Stuff like this. This is five miles from Malvern absolutely beautiful sure. and most of you have probably never been here before so this is Woodmere Dock uh, lots of beautiful places around us that we neglect we're lucky to live here take advantage of it all right everyone follow your gut today if your gut tells you it's wrong it's wrong don't do it if your gut tells you it's right follow through listen listen to the signs listen to the, the keys out in the world that tell you if you're on the right path or not all right I'm getting attacked here by bugs we hope uh, you enjoyed. Everyone, please uh, jump in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me uh, if you want to hear about anything else. Um, let me know if you got any wins going on in your life. Uh, I like to hear all the good stuff. You know, and, uh, in this world where hate makes headlines, goodness needs to speak up. So we like to hear about the good things. Sure. So jump down in there in the comments. Tell us the wins in your life. Tell us what's going on. Uh, if you need prayers, put it in there too. We'll, we'll say prayers for you. And uh, let me know uh, what you're feeling on these. Grab me a like, a love, whatever you want to do. I appreciate it. And I look forward to talking to you guys every morning, spreading some love. All right, everyone, have a blessed day. Have a wonderful, blessed day, a great one for that matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, God bless. Yeah, bye -bye. See you soon. <laughs>